When developing programs in Python, or in any other programming language for that matter, there are a lot of different options for IDEs or integrated development environments that you can choose from. The advantage of using IDEs over basic plain text editors is that IDEs provide more tools that aid in the process of developing programs. They have features such as auto-completion of code, error highlighting, file management, and debugging, to name a few. But not all IDEs are created equally. Some, like Idle, are compact and lightweight. Others, like PyCharm, have a larger set of features. Choosing an IDE that's best for your needs really depends on a lot of different factors. If you need something that's not too heavy on computing resources, then you might have to opt for an IDE that has fewer features. If you have a powerful computer and are comfortable using more advanced features, then you might want to go with a more powerful IDE. For beginners in Python programming, one of the best IDEs in my opinion is the application called Fun. It has a simple interface, but has just enough features that help new programmers learn how to code without being too overwhelming. It has features that allow you to go through your program step by step while incorporating some visualizations to help you better understand what's happening. For the next segments of this course, we will be using Thony to program in Python. So in this video, I'll show you how to install Thony on your Windows machine. You can download the Thony installer by visiting thony.org. And here in the front page, we can choose the appropriate installer for our operating system. Let's save the file. And once the download is complete, go to the location where the installer was saved and then double click on the installer to start the setup process. Click next, then accept the license agreement and click next again. And then we choose where to install Thani. I will just keep this default location and then click next. You can choose to create a desktop icon for Thani if you want, but I will just forego that and click next. And then click install, wait for the process to complete and then click Finish once it's been successfully installed. To launch Thony, open the Start menu and you should see Thony listed in there. Or you could also go to the search field and look for Thony. Okay, so let's launch the application. And then click on Let's Go. And here it is. We now have Thony installed on our Windows machine. In the next video, we will take a short tour of the Thony interface.